We're here at Folgers Marsh on the island of Nantucket at the freshwater port to the marsh. And when you have this mixture of fresh water and salt water, you have an estuary. And for plants, it's actually fine. The Spartina alterniflora I'm standing in grows just as well in salt water as fresh water. But for the animals, they're either adapted to living in fresh water or salt water. And there are some specially adapted animals that can live in a changing salinity. And this is important for their physiology because they, their cells start taking on water or releasing water depending on the salt content of that water. Um, so things like killifish and um, grass shrimp and some species of crab like blue crabs can tolerate salt, lower salt contents and can actually tolerate a fluctuating salt content. As this freshwater comes in, we also have freshwater eels that come in from across the freshwater marsh, across the street, in through the stream, and out to sea. There are actually quite a few eels that come through this way, and they go out to, the eels are a special type of fish that may, lives its adult life in fresh water and moves into salt water to mate. And they actually go all the way to what's called the Sargasso Sea from all around the American side of rivers and streams and from Europe, all the eels meet in the Sargasso Sea. So this little inlet here, you'll find these eels that go to mate and then the larvae come back through this water and into fresh water to live out their adult lives. I also wanna talk about the osprey Osprey nests are found near water because osprey feed on fish within these pools. And these pools are reasonably shallow and have very low oxygen. So not a lot of types of fish can live in them, but you find a variety of small fish and killifish and, and crabs that the osprey can feed on.